The following program contains graphic images that may be disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. This occurred after a patient wore a new pair of shoes. I, you know, apparently really enjoyed the shoes, but not Whoa. what happened afterwards. <laughs> yeah. This is oh pretty intense. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and this, this is actually called contact dermatitis, which is an, allerg an allergic reaction that occurs from contact with something that doesn't agree with you. This is actually a really interesting and quite sad case because it took weeks for them to figure out what had happened here. In fact, this poor woman had gone to four different emergency rooms over two weeks. She was given crazy diagnoses from really rare autoimmune blistering conditions like bullous pepsin. And in, in fairness, yeah, this is not this. your everyday contact dermatitis, no. which no. is usually much more subtle. So exactly. you can see how you roll into an ER, someone's, someone's not looking at this initially thinking, oh, yeah, that's just a little I contact mean, I dermatitis. Think, I, yeah. I, I think what happened was that there was some sort of constricted circulation there. You can see the red part, which just, that looks more like a contact dermatitis. Mm -hmm. It's that blistering at that site that makes it look so odd. A absolutely, and in this case, it was that many leather products, they use something called chromates, which is chromium to actually tan the leather. One of the really most common causes of contact allergies, it happens, like in this case, this poor woman had started wearing new shoes about a week and a half before this started. Gradually, she put it together. She figured out that even where she was touching the shoes to put them on, her hands were reacting. But it took an ER doctor in New Orleans to ask her, hey, by any chance, have you been wearing any new shoes? Shoes, and then they figured this out. They withdrew the shoes, obviously. Because what, what is the giveaway here? Use your investigative skills. The giveaway when you see this picture right here. It's the straps. The and, right? and, and, and the distribution yeah. on both feet, the exact same. It would be yeah. so unlikely for some random insult to affect both feet the exact same way like that. I, I got to tell you, I don't, I don't know that I've, I've seen something quite that bad from wearing shoes. Anytime something like this happens to you and you're getting like a weird rash and you can't explain what's going on, play detective. Really mm -hmm. think back. What was the exposure that happened history, before? History, history, history. It's, it's all about the history and the distribution, like you said. And so I think that a lot of times people figure this out on their own, but in this case, it was just really challenging. But to your point about how severe the blistering is, mm. when you start getting that repetitive insult and that inflammation that just keeps stacking upon itself, that's when in dermatology we see really bad blistering just like this, but this can also be incredibly itchy, painful, uncomfortable. So the and clearly those straps were right there, yeah. so there was the irritation and the straps just kept rubbing on the contact dermatitis, yeah. creating this, this secondary inflammation. Moral of the story is if there's a lesion that's not getting better, it's getting worse, yes, ask yourself questions. How could this have come about? But also get a professional opinion. The two of you, sometimes a little teamwork, doctor-patient yeah. teamwork, can solve the problem. Yes, this could happen to you.